um, to Schedule 3 uh, for the simple fact that free cash flow because the removal of 280E in some cases is going to double, triple, you know, free cash flow. And so on the note of the rescheduling of 280E, the, the latest updates, what are your thoughts on that? Do you, th- do you see um, a little bit more leverage for dispensaries to kind of be able to have some more money to invest? Uh, what do you think? I do. I do. Uh, so listen, I know it's a slightly controversial topic. Some people are for it. Some people are against it. Some people think it's the other. And you've noticed it's very extreme, right? People are either it's the best thing ever or it's the worst thing ever. Um, so keep in mind, I'm on the banking side. <laughs> um, from a financing perspective, me as a bank providing lending to a, um, a, a cannabis business, it's huge. Um, again, for a very simple reason, if you take away 280E, the, the, the free cash flow, so we're talking net profit that the, that the, that the business walks away with, it, 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 it's night and day. Again, it's double, triple in some cases. So in other words, today, even if I was, you know, the stars align, you've got this financial institution that's willing, able to lend to a cannabis business, does that cannabis business qualify? In many cases, no, <laughs> they, just, they just simply don't. Interesting. Um, and so on your end, I'm kind of curious, we were kind of bouncing on this topic previously, but we're back to kind of co- compliance. Um, are there some reporting requirements that you have to fulfill on your end to kind of ensure that the dispensaries or cannabis operators keep their hands clean? Yes. Um, so there's a couple of that. Some of them are due to the, the current discrepancy between federal and state law. That is, to be specific, it's, it's a schedule one drug, right? So they're actually Believe it or not, there, there's a very, there actually is a report that we filed that is specific to cannabis. It's a SAR, Suspicious Activity Report. So you suspect cannabis-related activity. Um, so there's a marijuana priority, marijuana limited, and marijuana termination. Um, and actually, the reason that the, the because the SARS uh, exists, that's the reason that the um, FinCEN, the Financial Crime Enforcement Network, so FinCEN thinks that there's something like 800 financial institutions banking cannabis, which sounds like a big number, but you know there's almost 10,000 financial institutions in America, right? Really? Um, yeah. I think of like three or four. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of things to consider, right? What, you know, 800 sounds like a big number, probably much bigger than I think most cannabis industry folks would think. Well, it's it's believed that the it's because the SARS is how they track that number. 